Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now October 18th of 2024 and given that Bob Iger, the Disney CEO right now, is in full-on panic mode over various projects out there and we already know that many of the Disney executives, the board of directors, some of which by the way are involved in a constant shakeup between themselves and Bob Iger and everything else going on in between such as the divisions like Lucasfilm and Marvel Studios and among other issues that are rising more and more with each past week, but what's interesting about this has a lot more to do with the ongoing Snow White drama between actresses Rachel Zegler and Gal Gadot. Let's get into this. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So, one thing about Rachel Zegler is that we know that she is a very self-absorbed individual. She is one that believes that everybody should fall into her own demands and her own requests and that's basically what's been going on behind the scenes over at the Disney company in particular related to the Snow White live action remake which reshoots are by the way about to kickstart by this December and there's also a lot of tensions rising with that. Now, in regards to Gal, we know that Gal has a lot of problems with Rachel on a personal level as well as on a creative level when it comes to her overall, uh, you know, way that she's handling, uh, cooperating with the cast and the crew, etc., etc. But this is where things begin to really go out of control and spiral out of control that we have never seen before in any Disney live action remake out there. So what's interesting about this is that we know that director Mark Webb is basically stuck in the middle between these two actresses having a lot of personal issues with each other. Now on top of that, with reshoots for Snow White looming to begin by this December before its March debut, one monumental development that is active involves more to do with the drama between Zegler and Gal. A crucial update to this scenario now involves how Gal recently fell into extreme arguments with Rachel Zegler after the ending for Snow White is going to be drastically changed and reshot and is best described to be the most important acting piece for Gal. Now the scene that Rachel has been creating so many issues with toward Gal has to do with the fact that Rachel still refuses to shoot a scene with her after Gal got deeply offended about Rachel's social media posts about her real world views and mixed it with Snow White marketing campaign as a whole. However, her core issues with all of this and the most recent drama now involves how Zegler is actually said to have a very personal issue with Gal Gadot for having more screen time in the third act of the film after multiple revisions were applied by the Disney executives and how they made drastic revisions after the sixth failed test screening Gal recently had a loud argument with in a recent gathering between the cast and the crew, the creatives behind the scenes of the film, labeling Zegler as petty, difficult to work with, and downright rude to the crew members whose jobs are on the line for this project. Now, it's best described that Gal knows that the third act is the biggest disaster of all acts for Snow White, and Disney is desperately trying to fix this with reshoots, last minute reshoots, mind you, and that won't be possible unless Zegler is willing to shoot some scenes with Gal next to her in the same studio or room. Now, Zegler is demanding already to shoot scenes separately and demanding the editors to make that work out somehow with CGI techniques that would only cost more money getting thrown into this project, which by the way is over $300 million uh, into the budget. This is also creating many issues for Disney executives, and it's exactly why she was dropped from several Disney-related projects after Snow White. Gal Gadot also repeatedly had a moment where she demanded Rachel to take down her social media posts, again, that she found offensive that were also hurting the marketing campaign for Snow White, and Zegler refused again, and it created so much tension that even Disney requested for her to take it down, still refused. The Disney company knows that they must get reshoots done, or else that is going to go beyond being a failure, and that they may very well need to direct it directly to Disney Plus instead of the theaters and take the loss unless reshoots are applied. Now guys, let me say one thing about this before I move on. Now, we already know that this movie specifically is going to be one of the biggest failures of 2025. Actually, it may very well be the biggest failure of that year, if not of the past 20, 30 years easily, the way things are going on right now, both internally and externally, mind you. There's a lot of issues at hand at the Disney company. 
But what's interesting here is the fact of how real difficult Rachel Zegler truly is to work with, seemingly here, based on what's been going on with Godot and what's been going on with director Mark Webb and the cast, the crew, the creatives. She is very stubborn. She seems like she will never actually step out of her own self-absorbed beliefs. And that's when it really comes down to Disney really needing to learn a lesson that you don't hire actresses like this that are somewhat new to the game and believe that they deserve everything in Hollywood, everything in the film industry. And that's when you deal with an actress that really does go into sabotage mode over a project like this that is unwilling to make things right. Gal basically is taking, you know, the high road. I mean, she's being the bigger person in this scenario, willing to drop all the drama with a couple of exceptions, a couple of, you know, conditions to be met. And still, Zegler is unwilling to actually make that work or to become the better person as well. So, overall, it's like the adult trying to deal with the child. That's really what it boils down to. Continuing on, all right, now Gal also now has a deeper grudge with Zegler after, of course, blaming that many of the test screenings failed because of Gal's acting capability when in reality it all had to do with Zegler. The internal battles with this film are said to be the worst of any Disney production in over 20 years, and a delay is looking more and more likely if reshoots are moved from December until January due to the squabble between both actresses. Now, director Mark Webb is also now trying to settle the drama between the two behind the scenes as another test screening is due by this holiday season, just before reshoots are applied for the seventh one. So they have a seventh test screening that will be debuting sometime in the holiday season, most likely in November, you know, the end of November, right around Thanksgiving time. Makes a lot of sense, but they won't have reshoots done or even beginning at that point in time. So I think at the end of the day, this drama is not only dragging the progress of really trying to do their last ditch effort, their Hail Mary, if you will, to fix this movie at all costs, but even that, it's not going to fix this film. We know that any level of reshoots, if anything, it's going to make it worse. It's going to make the movie feel more sloppy and out of touch. Look, you got footage from 2022, 2023, this year, and technically next year, if reshoots are going to spill into the new year, you're going to have these actresses looking different year by year in different scenes, most likely, depending on when it was shot, how it was shot, you know, uh, where it was shot, the lighting techniques, if it was outside, you know, uh, on location sequences. I mean, a lot of things can look different over time even in very subtle ways where it'll make the audience scratch their heads like, oh, what's going on here? So I would like to hear what everyone has to say about all this below in the comments, everything related to uh, the drama related to this movie that's still, by the way, set for late March of 2025, surprisingly, you know, despite all these issues. But overall, I would love to hear what you all have to say about Zegler, Gal, Mark Webb, the director, and everything else in between. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.